All right, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a major flaw. This is a fatal flaw that I see a lot of coaches and trainers make. This is a huge mistake that coaches, whether they're just starting or they've been in business for a while, I see people make this mistake all the time. And here's what it is. It's the belief that having more things within your business will help you grow your business. Now, here's one simple example, all right? I see coaches make this mistake all the time. They think, well, if I go buy more gear, then I will get more clients. Or if I buy more gear, my marketing is going to be easier, right? Now, what happens when you buy more gear is you take a certain amount of money right and you should be investing that money into something that's going to make your business better right but instead you're spending money on a tool or a gadget something that is ultimately not going to get better results for your clients so why am i saying this well it's because anything that you invest in within your business it should be for the betterment of your clients right and if you need to get equipment, if there's something that you absolutely need to have that's going to make your client's results better, absolutely that makes sense. But that's not always the case. Most, most coaches and trainers I see are spending so much money on gear, equipment, stuff with like that, that brings zero value to their clients. And in the coach's mind, they're thinking, well, if I have this, I'm going to ultimately attract more clients to your business. And I will tell you that's absolutely false. And I'm gonna tell you a story, all right? And this is something that happened around 11 years ago. It's a long time ago. And I'll never forget this. Back in the day when I was first just getting started, um, I remember I would travel far distance to go train some of the clients I was working with. And I remember I had a small group. There was three kids there, right? Three kids there. And on the other side of the field, there was another trainer there, all right? This trainer had like all this stuff, like I'm within soccer. So he had pennies, he had like a hundred soccer balls. He had all of this, this, like these goals that were out on the field. Um, and he had a lot of clients there. There was probably like 30 kids that showed up. And I remember in my head when I left the first day after I saw that, I was really jealous. I was like, it's like, man, I need that stuff. Like he has all these kids. Um, that's something that I need. Uh, otherwise I'll never be able to train that many kids. So I immediately compared what I was doing to what he was doing. And I looked at my setup, right? I had a bag of soccer balls. I had probably four soccer balls at the time. And I had a stack of cones that I got from a, a store called Academy. If you live in Texas, you know what I'm talking about. And I spent very little money on, uh, on my equipment and I had these kids there and, you know, I could tell these kids, they were gaining a lot from our session. They were getting better. And I remember over the next couple of months, every time I went out there, I would always notice the other guy, um, who was doing his thing. He always had a lot of clients there and slowly I kept building what I was doing as I kept building. I realized, you know what? This has nothing to do with the equipment. This has everything to do with the quality of the training, right? And it has everything to do with producing results for clients. And that's when I realized this, this game has nothing to do with sinking money into buying more stuff. It has everything to do with being a better coach and being a better business owner, right? And here's what ended up happening. A couple months into it, some of the kids that were in his program, like their parents were, were watching what we were doing. Our sessions were radically different. I didn't care about the gear. I cared about the quality of the sessions, about giving personalized help to the kids that I was working with, right? And some of those parents started to catch on. They're like, wow, like that guy's sessions are better. So they, they ended up coming into my program. And shortly after that, I ended up uh, training at a different location and it was like the same thing that happened. It was like, there'd be other trainers there. They have a bunch of stuff. They're spending a bunch of money on stuff, but that stuff 
did not equate to a successful business. And this is where, again, I see a lot of people go wrong, is they're not frugal with, with how they spend their money in their business. So they try to go improve their business by buying stuff. Stuff may not help your clients. And this is why I always, I always think this. It's, it's, it's never going to be the trainer who has the coolest gadgets. It's not going to be the trainer who has all the stuff set up. It's going to be the trainer who produces the best results. And that's why there's two different types of trainers. There's the ones who want to look cool. They, they want to show up and have this appeal that like, wow, this person has all this stuff, right? There's that person. And that person ultimately draws in a client who, uh, who thinks that, right? And ultimately clients who think that are not the ones who are probably going to get results. And then there's coaches like me. we like, I seriously, like if you looked in my trunk, I have the exact same setup. I have a bag of soccer balls and I have cones. I have nothing beyond that. I, st I still have nothing beyond that. And I've trained thousands and thousands and thousands of kids over the past 11, 12 years. Did it have anything to do with the gear? Absolutely not, right? So if you're mismanaging your money, if you're spending a bunch of money on, on stuff, that's not going to get you. That's not going to get you further ahead. I can promise you that, right? And this is coming from someone who still <laughs> has a small amount of gear, right? So that's it for today's video. I wanted to share that story with you to encourage you and, and let you know that your your success as a business owner is going to come down to your results that you get with your clients, right? If you're not getting results with your clients, they're not going to train with you no matter what you have, right? But if you center your program based around stuff and appealing like you're really cool, right? That's not going to that's not going to build a successful business. The only thing that builds a successful business is by producing results over and over and over and being the authority and be the go-to trainer in your area, right? And I know if you've been watching my videos for a long period of time. I've talked about this for the last four or five years on YouTube, right? And the great part about this is I have tracked this extensively over the past uh, almost, I'd say three and a half years now. Coaches that we've helped that have been part of our mentoring program or our one-on-one -on -one program, the ones who focus on results are the ones who ultimately are the most successful, right? They're obsessed with getting their clients results. That's all they care about. They're not caught up buying a bunch of stuff that, that brings zero value to their clients. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you have any questions for me, send me a text message. My number is 210-960-5771. See you later. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. This way you can stay updated with all the newest videos. See you later.